Hello everyone, I'm getting ready to make some geode coasters for you today. I cleaned all four of my geode shaped coasters and I'm going to be using Red Collections Pearl Sparkle and Eye Candy Skyline Blue in mica powders. And I'm also going to be using Broken Mirror pieces for the centers. You can use any colors that you wish to, but I'm going to make blue ones today. I mixed up 10 ounces of resin today, one to one, so five ounces of A and five ounces of B. And the way I split my resin up for geode coasters is I take half of it to uh, mix with the white color that you're using. So this particular batch, I'm going to use five ounces of the Red Collections Pearl Sparkle. Then I'm going to mix two and a half ounces of the Eye Candy Skyline Blue and two and a half ounces I'm gonna keep of the clear. So when you pour the clear into the center, you will be able to put those mirror pieces in so they will shine through the center as if the geode um, sparkle in there. So I'm first gonna take the blue and I'm gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna to try to split this as evenly as possible. You can use less because the dark color tends to take over the whole geode in the finished product. So if you want less of the color that you're using, just mix up less of that color and pour it less, you know what I mean, around the edges. It would be a thinner line than what I have here. So you'll want to do it as evenly as possible if you want them all to be the same. If you end up doing one at another time, it will never look the same. So as many as you're gonna pour, try to have as many molds as possible. That way they all come out fairly similar. Now the white I'm just going to puddle in the center and I'm going to pour it until it touches the blue. And then when there's left over you could just go through and see which ones need a little bit more like i said all of these colors you're going to want to evenly spread them the best that you can now it's not going to fill these molds and i don't want to fill the molds because i know i'm going to be putting a clear coat on top and i would like to dome them with the clear so i'm trying not to fill these molds up that's why i only mixed up 10 ounces instead of 12 ounces which it would take another two ounces Okay, and the last step is to pour the clear into the center of each one the best that you can get into the center because remember this is where the pieces of mirror will go. So the way you pour it kind of matters and it's also going to push that white out as well. So the white will end up going up underneath the blue and it will make space for those mirror pieces. Now take your heat gun and just go around the edges and pop some bubbles and get the colors moving so they'll um, start moving together and creating that geo that we're looking for. I have this little tiny spray bottle of 99% alcohol that I like to use a lot. When you don't want to use your torch to pop bu bubbles because you don't want to ruin your molds, this is a great option. So you, I just got this little tiny bottle for a dollar at Walmart and I just keep it full of alcohol. So you just spray it on your resin and it will pop the bubbles just as well as a torch will or a heat gun will without adding the extra heat to it. And then I'm just going to take a little spoon and start placing the mirror into the centers. Now they're going to sink to the bottom. So make sure when you put them in there, they're as center as possible. Now I'll take my little um, silicone stick and move them around and adjust them as wide or as thin as you want them to be in the center. Now remember, you may or may not see all of them. It depends how much color that you put onto the edges because that color is going to be pulled to the center of this geode. So just keep that in mind when you're mixing your color. 
but just, uh, you know, add as much as or li as little as you want to until you think that um, you're done and then you're just going to let them go. Okay, this is the next day. They are cured and you can see how much that blue moved and it did cover a little bit of the mirror like I said. So you can put a little less color if you want to. The bottoms aren't that great so I'm going to keep them in the mold and keep that seal in there and I'm just going to flood coat the, the clear right on top of them. So don't break that seal if you're going to use this side of the uh, coaster. If you're gonna use the other side, obviously you'll have to remove the seal, but the other side isn't that great on this one. All the white sank to the bottom. That's what you'll see. I do recommend before you start any project, no matter what it is, to clean them with a um, lint-free towel. That way there is no extra lint coming from anywhere before you flood coat anything or even just pour anything. I have learned my lesson over and over. Just keep everything as clean as possible, especially if you can find a lint-free cloth because paper towels will definitely leave lint. Okay, so these ones are really easy to top coat since you don't have to worry about running over the edge because they're still in the mold. I'll do another video of how to top coat without the mold at another time. But right now I just mixed up about five ounces of clear resin because I want them to dome. I don't want them to be flat. If you if they stay flat or underneath the seal, then you'll probably have to clean the edges off. But if you can dome them and get it sticking up above that mold, then you probably won't have to clean the edges up with some sandpaper or a knife or what what have you. But um, I'm going to go ahead and there should only be room for about one ounce each in all of them. But because I want them to dome, I mixed up an extra ounce and I used all of it. So that definitely worked the way I wanted it to. And then before I cover them to sit overnight, I took my little stick, my little silicone stick, and there were a few little pieces of lint that still got in there. And all you do is touch it with that silicone stick. I love these things. I use them all the time. And it just attaches itself. And then you just wipe it off with a rag and go in if there's any more before you cover them for the night. Now you might want to keep going in to check if you're not going to cover them and try to get anything else out. Now you can... Uh, make sure you torch them or spray them with alcohol or use your heat gun to pop all the bubbles before you set them aside for the evening. And then I would say cover them up and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow when we unmold. This is one idea for some covers I got at the Dollar Tree. They'll cover one mold each. And they work great. They keep all the lint out, but yet they still breathe. It's the next day. It's time to unmold. Although this one's not going to be too big of a reveal, obviously. We have already know what side is the top that we've already top coated, so we're just going to take them out of the molds. And check out the back side. Everything looks good. Um, there's just a little tiny bit of overpour that will trim off, but that's no big deal. We'll get to that. Um, the backs are pretty still. They're very sparkly with the mica powder. You can actually, if you wanted to use either side, you can uh, put a top coat on the back side as well. That way you can decide which, which side you like the best and you can use both sides. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then um, I'm going to trim the edges in the next scene. And then we're going to put some silver around the edge. So we'll get you to uh, see how to do that. Be right back.
There's just a couple tiny small spots that did get over poured from doming the clear coat. So I'm just going to grab my deburring tool and scrape them off. It's pretty simple to do when you take them out of the mold. If you're demolding it, you know, within, you know, 24 hours after pouring, it's still a little, it's soft enough to come off pretty simple. So just go around, check all your coasters and get all those little over pours off and smooth so they don't cut anyone's fingers. And then we'll move on to the silver. This is my favorite paint pen that I've found. I've used a few different ones, but this one seems to be the best. I get this at Walmart and it's called Deco Color Premium. I have them in silver, gold, and black. And this one, since they're blue, I wanted to put the silver with it. And the paint just comes out really nice and it flows good and it's got a wider tip and it you can cover it much quicker than the thinner tip. And just go around all four of your coasters and it will dry within a couple of minutes. So just let them sit before we move on to the edges. This is the last step before the final reveal. Um, all you're going to do is take the edge of your pen and I kind of put the tip half on the top and half on the side. That way it's a pretty even line going all the way around the edge of the coaster just to bring some silver right up around the edge of this coaster. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do make them, I would love to see what you've done. So go ahead and put them down below. Have a great one, guys. See you on the next one.